Hello, this is Philip. Uh, welcome to my channel for this second episode of my tutorial about uh, KRS. Today we are going to learn how to use a terminal to uh, run a simple script. This is a rocket with a probe core, a booster and a chute. I have changed the uh, thrust limiter and the amount of solid fuel to uh, have a small burn time and a small TWR, small for a booster. Uh, I need to add something really important, a KOS processor. So I go to command and control, I choose for example this one and I put the shoot on back again. Okay, uh, I have to change my staging sequence here. Let's put the parachute here and here. So first I ignite the booster and then I release the clamps and then I activate the uh, shoot. Okay, let's go. Here we are. So, if I want to uh, launch this rocket manually, I just press the spacebar once to activate the first stage, and then I press it a second time to activate the clamps, and then I uh, wait for the booster to be empty, and I press the space, the space uh, bar again to activate the chute. So this is uh, how you can do to uh, fly this simple rocket, rocket manually. I want to do this with KOS. That means I want to activate uh, three stages only with uh, KOS. Okay, it's a simple script. Uh, it's, uh, it's the first uh, thing you must know about KOS, how to launch your rockets. Back to the launch pad. The first thing I have to do is to open the terminal. So let me right click on my processor and you can see here two options, open terminal, close terminal. Okay, this is really simple. But sometimes your part, your processor is hidden into your rocket, so it can't be easily accessible. So you can uh, click on the KOS menu and click on the button here, the laptop button here, and it opens the terminal. Click again, the terminal is closed. Okay. Here you can change the width and the height of the terminal. For now it's 50 width and 25 for the height. 50 means that you can write 50 characters here. So this terminal has 50 columns and 25 is the number of lines you can uh, write. You can change it, you can put 40, it doesn't change anything here, uh, it will be changed for my next flight. I can also use this little square to change manually the size of uh, the terminal. And I can uh, change the brightness here, and uh, I can change the font. Okay, uh, if you want Simpson. Okay, the font is uh, this one, Consolas. Okay, you, you, you select the font you want. Uh, I like uh, this one, Source Code Pro Bold. Okay, so this is the terminal, and uh, I can close the menu. And uh, you see here, because I have clicked on the terminal, there is a green frame here. That means the terminal is selected. That means I can use my keyboard to write on the terminal. I can press the space bar and it doesn't activate the stages. Okay, this is very important. If I click out of uh, the terminal, the uh, green frame disappears, and now if I click the space bar, I will activate the stage. So let's select the terminal. 
I want to activate the first stage. For this, I have to write the keyword stage and press enter. If I do this, there is an error on syntax error. The error is expected E or I end of instruction. That means that when I write an instruction, I have to finish it with a special character. This special character is the period. Okay, so I have to finish my instruction with that period character here. Okay, if I forget this, KOS uh, tell me that there is, tells me there is a, a, an error. Okay, so if I press enter now, the stage is activated. I write stage again with the period. I press enter. The second stage is activated. And now I'm waiting uh, the, that the poster is uh, out of fuel. And I write stage like this with the period at the end. And when I press enter, the last stage is activated. As you can see, I have written stage uh, with lowercase or uppercase. That doesn't change anything for KOS. You can write it as you want uh, with a lowercase or uppercase, or you can mix them. There is no difference for uh, KOS. Well, so what I have done here, I have uh, activate the stage the first, the second, and the uh, third stage using uh, KOS. But it is not really simpler than pressing the bar space. I have to write stage and I have to uh, hurry uh, because if I don't write stage uh, at time, uh, maybe uh, the booster will be out of fuel before I have uh, written the second times stage. So. How can I change that? Back again. So let me open the terminal here. Okay. The first thing I can do is uh, to write stage for the first stage and stage again and stage again. I didn't press the enter button, so the script is not running. And now I can press it. And it seems that only one stage uh, had been uh, activated. And what is the reason for that? The reason is uh, the computer is going so fast that uh, he read the first stage key uh, keyword. So he activated the first uh, stage and then it didn't add uh, it didn't have the time to uh, to read the uh, other um, stage here the reason is uh, the physics ticks of the game i will speak about that in a future video so how can we do let's try it so I want to stage three times. I know this doesn't work. I want KOS to wait a certain amount of time. Okay, maybe I want uh, it to wait one second. After the wait instructions, I have to uh, put an amount of time in second. Okay, so it will be one second or 0 0.5 seconds, or it can be three seconds. Okay, let's say one second. So uh, the first stage is activated, then I wait one second, then the second stage is activated, so the, the clamps are released, and then I have to wait uh, that uh, the booster is uh, out of fuel to uh, stage again to activate the, the chute. 
for this, I know that the burn time is uh, 18 seconds. So I can write here, wait 18 seconds. I could wait 17 seconds because uh, the first stage activates the booster and then I wait one second. Well, to be sure, I'm going to wait 20 seconds and then the third, the third stage will be activated. Okay, let's try. I push the enter key. Okay, so the first stage has been activated, then KOS uh, has waited one second and it activated the uh, second stage. Now we are waiting 20 seconds and then the uh, last stage will be activated. Okay, it worked. But there is a problem here. How should I know that I have to wait 20 seconds? I have to uh, read uh, the burn time here, but it is not really efficient if I change my rocket, if I change the booster. Uh, I want my script to work in uh, any time. So, uh, I have to find another way here before I, activated the, I activate the parachutes. I want the chutes to be activated while the rocket is going down. And for this, I can use the vertical speed. The vertical speed is right here. When the rocket is going up, the vertical speed is positive. And when the rocket is going down, the vertical speed is negative. So what can I do is to uh, ask KOS to wait until the vertical speed is negative. Let's try it one more time. Stage for the first stage. Then I wait one second. Then the clamps are released in the second stage. And now I want to wait until vertical speed is less than zero. Vertical speed here is written as one word. It's a keyword for KOS. KOS has, has a, a lot of keywords. Stage, wait, wait until, and vertical speed is one of the keywords. Um, it is written as one word, so I prefer to uh, write the S as an uppercase. Uh, it's better to read vertical speed. You can do whatever you want. I, I, like, uh, I like it this way. So uh, the first stage is activated, then I wait one second, the second stage is activated, and then uh, I wait until the vertical speed is negative, until the rocket is going down and after that I can activate the shoots. Let's try. First stage, one second, second stage. Okay. The rocket is going up. Vertical speed is positive. We have to wait until the booster is out of fuel. The vertical speed is still positive. It's now decreasing because the rocket is, has reached the upper axis and now the vertical speed is negative and you, KOS has uh, activated the last stage and this will work whatever uh, booster you put in and uh, with whatever uh, amount of fuel you have, it will always work. KOS will wait until the vertical speed is negative and it will stage. Okay, that's great. The problem now is that code is not very readable. I, I can't read this very well. If I want to write a program that put my rocket into orbit, I will need a lot of words. And uh, if I have to write all my program line after line, it will be difficult to write and 
most important difficult to read so i uh, have to do it in an uh, other way hopefully kos comes with an internal editor that you can uh, use to write your program i'll discuss uh, this um, editor in the next video until then thank you for watching and uh, be well bye bye